morning. It's going to be a busy, busy day. I'm gonna get the day started by doing a practice session, but first I'm gonna get ready for the day. There is a cello masterclass at 10 o'clock, which disrupts my normal routine, but I really wanna go. So I'm gonna pick out an outfit that's comfortable, but it's also suitable for all the events that are happening today. This red pantsuit, I completely forgot about. I think I'm gonna wear this. Today is a true test of my time management skills. I have about five billion things going on, but with any luck, I'll be able to practice, go to class, go to master class, go to a concert, and study for my midterm tomorrow. <laughs> it's kind of a lot, but we got this. It's 8.40 right now, and I'm on my way to a practice room. I'm gonna practice from 8.45 to 9.45, and then head up to the master class at 10. My plan for this practice session is just to warm up, go over some trouble spots on my pieces, Despite my head being kind of foggy because I usually don't practice this early in the morning, it was a good practice session and I'm glad I got it done first thing in the morning because as the day goes on and it gets later, I just lose concentration. It's crazy how sometimes you can be working on a piece and for like a week you can be stuck in one place. Like I just felt like I was ramming into a wall not moving and then all of a sudden this morning magically there starts to be some progress so it just goes to show when something's not working you just got to keep going at it slowly and slowly and sometimes the progress will not come incrementally but just all of a sudden is there i ended a little early so that i would have time to put my cello back in my room before i have like back-to-back -back classes i don't want to have to carry it around i i don't like having it too much in public because then um there's risk of people knocking it over and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go drop this back in my room and hurry over to the master class. All right, my cello is safely back in its corner and I was so lucky that elevators were really fast today so I actually have time to make a little chai tea latte before I go to the master class. Trust me, I need it, I'm exhausted. I'm running late, so I'm just gonna speed my way there. I'll see you in the hall. That master class was really interesting. I'm so sad I have to go to class right now. I want to be able to stay through the whole thing. It's about 10.57 right now, so I'm gonna make it on time for my 11 o'clock class. lunch this morning was very full circle I started out by practicing my Shostakovich concerto which is modern music and then I went to a master class where they were playing romantic music and then back to theory which was 12 tone atonal music so we really went back in time and forward in time I can't believe I got all those things done in one morning and it's only noon so productive um, but now I'm just gonna have a break for lunch and hopefully get some more practicing in before my workout, but we'll see. 
I'm really excited because for lunch I'm having some of this beef stew sort of thing. It's uh, beef with potatoes, cucumbers, some parsley, and celery. And it's a perfect meal to have because it's very gloomy outside today. There's like clouds in the sky. I think it might rain later. Getting this nice and warm to beat that gloomy weather. I actually got to see two performances today, one in the master class and in my theory class somebody was performing today and that's something that we do every semester. Every person plays in the class, it gives a performance opportunity and also reminds us that music theory is not just theory, it actually has to do with being a better musician. And today's performance was really special, it was this very lyrical violin piece and it was so amazing to see everybody be in a better mood after he played. Everybody was smiling and when we were going around giving comments, they were different comments than usual. A lot of the times as string players we'll give comments like, oh good intonation, good tone, and we'll be talking about the technique. But what was really special is that we were all talking about the emotions and how he looked really into it, like he was having fun. And I think that's when you've really succeeded as a performer, where people are no longer talking about your technique, but the way that you made them feel. That's something that I'm sort of struggling with and working on, is I get very caught up in my technique, which is of course important, like looking at the small details of how am I gonna do this bow, how am I gonna shift, um, but at the end of the day, it's really just about making music. And sometimes I feel like as a conservatory student, I forget it's all about music. You could be the worst player in the world, but as long as you have emotion, you are making music. If you're just thinking about technique, that's not music. Oh, I just got a really exciting text. So I'm signed up with the Carnegie Hall student discounts where we can get $10 tickets and they announce them on a rolling basis. And I just got a text that for the next few weeks they have been announced. So I'm gonna text my friend right now really quickly and get those seats. I gotta get them before they sell out. It's for Boston Symphony. Oh my God. And they're only $10 each to be in the dress circle right in the middle. This is going to be amazing. Okay, so with ticket fees and everything, for two tickets, it turns out to be $24, which is not bad at all. Let's see. Load, load, I wanna get my seats. Oh, thank you for your order. Yes, I got them. Okay, this is why it's so great to have text uh, notifications on it, because otherwise, I probably wouldn't have gotten those seats. Mm, I haven't had beef in such a long time. There's nothing more comforting than meat and potatoes on a cold, cold day. I hope it warms up soon. It's been a long winter. I'm ready for spring. What about you? I want to hear in the comments, are you ready for spring or do you love this long winter we're having? All right, I'm back in my favorite little workout set. Excited to get moving and get some energy in the middle of this day. The whole time I was doing that workout, I was thinking of that song that's trending on TikTok and Instagram right now. It goes like, Do you ever get a little bit tired of life? Like you're not really happy but you don't wanna die. And I feel like a lot of people relate to that song because sometimes our lives can seem so boring and monotonous. And especially with a day like today that's really busy, I know I have a tendency to get burned out. And a way that I've found to combat that is when I'm lying down after my workout, which if you've been watching my vlogs, you know I love lying down and stretching after my workouts for longer than necessary. I've decided to add a habit to that, which is to take this moment and think about something that I was grateful for for the day. I feel like when we have our busy days, we're sometimes just going through the motions and we forget to really appreciate this beautiful life that we're living. So let's do it all together. I'm going to close my eyes, you do it too, and let's think about a moment in our day that we're grateful for. <sighs> okay, and with that, I'm going to take a shower because I smell. I had a 
really interesting conversation with my trainer about gluten, uh, especially bread. When I was in France this summer, I could eat bread with no problem. When normally when I eat it here, it makes my stomach a little bit upset and makes me bloated. The reason that some gluten intolerant people can eat bread in Europe and not in the US is the difference in the wheat. So in America, we use I think it's called hard wheat, red wheat, which basically has a high protein content but also a high gluten content and it results in that very squishy sort of soft texture that we love in bread. And in Europe, they use a different kind of wheat which is less protein but also less gluten and it results in kind of a harder, more artisanal bread. A lot of companies do this. They get yeast that will grow the bread really fast so they don't have to wait for it to proof, um, resulting in like higher speeds of manufacturing. If you think of Wonder Bread, like I think it only takes them a few minutes to have the dough rise before cooking it. Um, but the thing is, the faster you make the bread rise, you lose a lot of the nutritional components. So all that to say, it's really interesting to start looking into what is actually in our foods. Don't get me wrong, I still eat bread once in a while, but knowing this fact that I could be having a healthier, more nutritional bread if I made it myself just makes me want to make it. That was such a pandemic thing. Everybody was making their sourdough starters and everything, but it's actually a really good habit. There's your random pack for the day. I'm now having my snack, which is these pretzel thins with hummus, and I'm also going to alternate with some tuna to get more protein in. And after this, I'm gonna get some practicing done. So I'll see you then. I finished practicing, not gonna lie, I got pretty sleepy there towards the end, but now I'm gonna get dressed to go to the concert, which is hopefully gonna wake me up and give me more inspiration for that final push towards the end of the day. I just got back from the concert. It was amazing. I can't wait to tell you all about it. But first, I'm gonna make some dinner because I'm hungry. On the menu today is some leftovers. I have grilled chicken with some pasta and the sauce is my favorite sauce ever. I've made it a few times. It's pureed bell pepper. So the concert tonight was all cellists. There were groups ranging from four to five, and at the end I think there were 20-something cellists on stage. And of course I'm biased because I am studying cello, so I think it's the best instrument ever, but this concert really solidified that for me because there was so much variety in the different genres and things they were playing. It was so cool. There's nothing like hearing that many cellos on stage. It's such a powerful, sound it was like ringing through the audience it was so cool i definitely recommend if you ever see a cello ensemble a cello quartet cello quintet anything if you see that you have to go it's such an amazing experience all right i just took a break because i've just been going and going all day but i'm gonna do my last practice session of the night i'm exhausted and i still have to study for my midterm but almost through the day this is the last push study for a midterm tomorrow so to motivate myself I'm making some tea I'm gonna go with some lavender all right no excuses I've got my whole setup here I got my lavender tea and let's get this show on the road because I want to go to bed ASAP
All right, I think that is the end for me. I just finished studying and I need to go to sleep because my midterm is at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe so you don't miss the next one and I'll see you in the next video.